Hello guys, you are watching your own educational channel exam potential. To watch this video, please subscribe and comment us. Hello students, myself Rahul Kumar welcomes you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about 10% law of energy flow in detail. Right? Before talking about this topic, we must know what is energy flow and food chain. Right? What is energy flow? Energy flow is the flow of energy from one trophic level to another trophic level in form of food. Right? As for example, if grass is consumed by grasshopper and then it is consumed by frog and further frog is consumed by a snake and then it is eaten by eagle. This flow of energy from one trophic level to next higher trophic level is known as energy flow. Right? What is food chain? In an ecosystem who its home is known as food chain. Right? Now, what is 10% law of energy flow? This law was given by Raymond Lindemann in 1942. Actually, uh, initially the law term was not given by scientist Lindemann. After proposing this rule, scientists work on it and they found that this law was universal with no any exception. That's why the term law is added to this rule that is now it is said to be as 10% law of energy flow. Right? Now how can we define it? When organisms are consumed by other animals at next higher trophic level, nearly 10% of energy of the food is fixed into flesh and is available for next higher trophic level. This law is known as 10% law of energy flow. Right? Now we are going to understand this whole diagram. What this diagram says? This diagram says that when the solar energy comes from the sun to the producers, they form here glucose by the process of photosynthesis. Right? And now these producers are known as first trophic level. Right? Now producers are eaten by herbivores which is further eaten by carnivores and which is eaten by tertiary consumer or for trophic level and finally it, it is eaten by quaternary consumer or top consumer. On other words, we can understand that the first trophic level was eaten by next higher trophic level known as second trophic level or primary consumer which is further eaten by third trophic level and this third trophic level was eaten by fourth trophic level and finally it is eaten by fifth trophic level and the last member of any food chain is known as top consumer right let us understand the full concept of 10 percent law of energy flow by using this useful diagram right assume the total energy coming from the sun on the plant is 1 lakh joule. If the total energy coming from the sun on the plant is 1 lakh joule, only about 1% of this solar energy is utilized by the plant, right? And rest of the 99% of this solar energy losses in form of heat, light and reflected back by leaf and other plant body surfaces. Right means one percent of the solar energy falling on the plant is used by plant, and rest of the ninety nine percent get lost. Right now, the actual ten percent law of energy flow come into action from producers to next higher trophic level. What happens during the process of this energy flow? If this one lakh joule energy coming from the sun fall on the plant, it utilizes only 1% of the total energy falling on it, which is 1000 joule. 1% of 1 lakh joule is 1000, right? Now, if producers are eaten by any herbivores or in other words, we can say that when first trophic level organism 
वॉज इटेन बाई और कंज्यूम बाई प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर और सेकेंड ट्रॉफिक लेवल देन ओनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज टेकन बाई हार्वी वोर्स फ्रॉम दिस प्रोड्यूसर्स एंड दिस टेन परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज ओनली यूटिलाइज टू फॉर्म फ्लैश ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनिज्म राइट एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी गेट लॉस्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड रेस्पिरेशन एंड सम पर्सली डाइजेस्टेड फूड राइट इन द सेम वे वेन दिस हर्बी वर्ड्स और प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर इज इटेन बाई कार्बी वर्ड्स और सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर ओनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी ऑफ दिस हर्बी वर्ड्स गेट टेकन बाई कार्बी वर्ड्स डेट इज इफ दिस हर्बी वर्ड्स टेक्स टेन परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम द प्रोड्यूसर्स डेट इज हंड्रेड जून दिस कार्बी वर्ड्स फर्दर टेक्स ओनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी डेट इज 10% परसेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड इज टेन जूल राइट एंड हेयर अगेन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी अगेन लॉस्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड रेस्पिरेशन ड्यूरिंग द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ दिस हर्वी वोर्स राइट इन द सेम वे द प्रोसेस प्रोसीड डेट इज टेन परसेंट गोज टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी गोज टू नेक्स्ट हाइयर ट्रॉफिक लेवल एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी गेट लॉस्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड respiration right since during whole process only 10% energy is flows to the next higher trophic level and this 10% energy is only utilized by the next higher trophic level to form their flesh and which is which can only be utilized by next higher trophic level right so this law is known as 10% law of energy flow I hope you got understand the whole topic discussed by me in this lecture video which gives you the full concept of 10% law of energy flow thank you thanks for watching this video tutorial to get more videos please subscribe and comment us